Hi Taurus, it's Alulu and welcome to your indie read. All right, so let's see what's going on with you. What information do you have here for Taurus? There it is. All right, let's look at it. Journey. A lot of people are taking leaps of faith. The sun. Cornucopia. A broken heart. Okay, let's turn this around. Karen connections at the middle. Holding most weight. Door to spirit. Rest and rejuvenation. Appreciation. And door to romance. Let's read them down. All right. So welcome to the foyer for your indie read. Now then, uh, you may have taken a leap of faith here in the recent past. You just like, look, summer is about to kick in. It's time for something new. It's time to bloom and allow myself to really blossom into who I am. And it may have to do with a connection here. It may be that you um, took a leap of faith and caught yourself. You know how you flirt so much, you flirted to a relationship. All right. So there may be that. It may also be that there's an abundance of um, things that can happen in a partnership, but you have to take time out to really get clear thoughts, visions, and right thoughts, feelings, and right action with that rest and rejuvenation. You may take a break from someone or take a break from a partnership or take a break from some type of connection. Could be family. Then you have the broken heart appreciation and daughter spirit. You, um, uh, you are in a space where you are understanding more about why you are connected with certain people, the spiritual aspects of it. Maybe some of you in these past few years have really been running into a lot of people who are into spiritual things. They may not be into them the way that you are, but they are into them, right? And you're also getting some type of deeper understanding of why you are connecting to certain people as well. Then I have here the cornucopia, caring connections, and the journey, all right? That goes again into um, jumping into something. Um, this connection will bring a lot of abundance. It'll bring a lot of things that you will enjoy. Just enjoy that for what it is and continue to move forward. Because when you do decide to walk into the door of romance and you understand from a deeper level spiritually what that has to do with your growth and development, it's going to make even more sense. Um, you appreciate those who have hurt you. You may have made amends with people who have hurt you, who you've hurt, and you understand the spiritual significance of pain. Then you have a new beginning, partnership, and appreciation. Someone may be give, giving you something, and um, maybe they gave it to you for your birthday, and um, this is about to grow into more than what you thought, whatever this connection is. Let's see. What is this journey? Some of you may be having a baby, King of Wands. All right. Took a leap of faith with the King of Wands. Um, someone that you may not even consider as your type. Someone who is very charismatic, very um, sexually appealing, sensual. They're a leader. They're a visionary. They got their own stuff going on. Um, they fly by the seat of their pants sometimes. But this is someone who is very calculated with the flight that they take. What is this sun card? This new beginning and the truth being illuminated. Six of coins. What works and what doesn't? Um, this is balance. This is karmic reward. This is um, the beginning of something that will carry you a long way. What is this cornucopia? The high priestess. You didn't see it coming, but you knew and felt that it was coming. This also has to do with things being revealed to you when these blessings do begin to pour in, right, the way that they do. Um, when you harvest like this, you have to ask for the deeper meaning, the deeper secret to it, so that you'll be a good steward of what it is that you are being blessed with. What is this broken heart? The ten of coins. Maybe a marriage or a friendship that, you know, didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. Um, this may be something to do with family, your finances, or what have you. It was a misstep, and now you are learning from it. The king of cups. Maybe you gave too much of your heart, money, time, energy to someone or something, and it kind of fucked you up right there in the past. Eight of swords and the six of swords, 68, 86. But now that you are in this new partnership, this new way of communicating, and you can see things from the other side, you went through some type of rite of passage. And this also has to do with someone is changing the way that you view this transition. Someone is changing the way that who you are on the other side of this. They are. This is someone playing a significant role in your life. The queen of swords. This may be um, a sapiosexual. What is this door to spirit? The two of wands. Laying proper foundations based on material as well as spiritual. Being more spiritually connected with your plans and um, your travels and the way that you do things, where you are going. The knight of coins, taking your time. 
taking your time and writing it down, not overexerting yourself when um, you get this energy that is very stabilizing, but it also goes along the lines of um, taking things and creating more with what it is that you have. The Knight of Cups, it could be creative projects or something that you have to put a lot of time into and you're taking your time with that. You may even be dealing with someone here that you have been having dreams about and you're seeing where it's kind of like you can see what they want, but they don't tell you, but they cause issues when they don't get what they want, but they never told you what they want. What is this rest and rejuvenation? Somebody getting a haircut that is going to enlighten them to a cups. Taking a break from commitments to get yourself together. Taking a break from partnerships and um, dealings, daily dealings, ten of swords, because you are um, really finalizing something, right? And you're really, maybe you are ruminating on what it is that has been finalized, right? Communication, the way that you communicate, the way that you express your needs, wants, and um, what have you. Yay. I'm really talking. I think I say six minutes. What is this appreciation here for Taurus? The two of swords. Someone, you know, there's something that you are being gifted and you can't quite see your next step or your next direction is coming. You will be able to see it. Um, but you need to ask for information, eight of pentacles and the empress. Because whatever this is that you are creating, doing, focusing on, learning, um, this may have to do with manufacturing. But overall, I feel as though you have a number of paintbrushes and it's up to you how this canvas is painted with clarity don't stand too much in that gratitude just uh, live in gratitude so that way you won't become too comfortable in saying thank you so much to that you're not taking action um, there may be a grave that you need to go and visit someone who was um, very near and dear to you may have been a grandmother or someone who um, you never knew you're going to learn something or see something there for those of you who can go in the graveyard. What is this two of swords? The five of swords. Five and two is seven. Twenty-seven, seventy-two. You appreciate not going back and forth with someone. You may appreciate not saying or doing things that would have put you in even more of a predicament. You made a decision to not step in, not to even make a choice, not even try to get clarity with someone who was very offensive, defensive, um, their way or no way, jealous, the moon. Secrets were revealed and you just went ahead and didn't indulge. King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. This is someone who wouldn't have had your back anyway. This may have been someone who didn't tell you that they lost their job or they had, um, really didn't have anyone. They may have been telling you that they had someone. They didn't have anyone. What is this door to romance? The Page of Pentacles, take your time. Something is going to be of a success, but it's on you how you maneuver forward. Work on it. Come into some type of agreement about this. Um, go over your love list. What is it that you love about yourself? What is it that you love about your partner, friends, family, or whoever? Um, what is it that really... Um, that you can use your emotional energy towards so that you continue to dance with the universe and have this romantic stirrings of your heart continue to manifest. All right, so that was phased. All right, so let's do something different. Okay, Taurus. What is this journey card here for Taurus? The stork has delivered you a message and you say, yes, I'm ready. Something happens out of nowhere. You're being um, brought, something was brought to your attention, your awareness or in your environment. Um, it could be a baby. Again, like I said, somebody may have, no, they know that their life is about to change because they're having a baby. What is this sun card? The lilies. The truth of the gift. All right. Um, this could also be um, some truths being illuminated around um, the, the meaning and significance of the partnership. The meaning and significance of what this is that you are creating. Maybe something has been in gestation for quite some time and now it's time for you to birth it. And how is this a gift to everyone that you are serving? What is this cornucopia? The crossroads. A choice that you made in the past has brought you to this, alas. What is this broken heart? The ring. You were committed to something that wasn't committed to you. You may have been loyal to someone who wasn't loyal to you. You may have um, made agreements that you know were un that were not beneficial to you. 
the snake. Somebody was not truthful. They were very deceitful. They were very slithery, slimy. One thing about a snake, that bitch gonna slither. Okay. And you are seeing where someone may have played games with you. They were very creative with the games that they were playing with you. And now you see it for exactly what it is. This may be someone who wore rose colored lipstick or rose colored outfits, clothes, or things that are in their car it has a lot to do with rose, the color of rose, rose colored glasses, caring connections. The child, somebody really, the connections that you have now are the connections that you wanted since you were younger. The connection that you have now is something that really brings your inner child to the forefront and allows for you to be carefree. You remember what love is, self-love. You remember what, you know, the love that you may have witnessed from your parents or um, good companions, best friends from childhood. What is this door to spirit? Or it may be that y'all connected and making a baby. The locket. You are seen as protected as well as not everything about you is revealed um, when it comes to your inner dwelling. You don't reveal a lot, but there's a, not a lot that has been revealed to you. It's been under lock and key. With that locket, it also could be um, a promise um, that you make here. And then you go into that space of um, lucky, the door to romance. All right. That four leaf clover, believing more with that childlike energy and what um, having faith for what hasn't been seen right and doing the work that is necessary to bring it to the forefront there's a lot of things that are going to be revealed to you there may even be that the person that you would need to go and visit um there's a locket that is connected to that person the lady honing your feminine energy as well as taking time out to taking out taking time out to reflect some of you are channeling a lady um, that's very significant in your energy that is a healing energy protective energy as well as there's something that they do it may be in the right breast area but there's something that they do to warn you show you teach you guide you remember they can't make decisions for you all right they don't have the authority only demons think that they have the authority <laughs> what is the appreciate this appreciation card you work in collaboration with the lighter beings, the stars. You wish upon a star and you appreciate, you're appreciative of how things have um, been brought to the forefront of your awareness. But I also feel like the stars are aligned and you are taking steps to, um, with deep gratitude, to accomplish your goals one thing after the other. You may even think that you and this person may have some type of similarity. It may be in your birth chart, some asteroid in your birth chart. The positioning of your a star, which is an asteroid, right? Whatever. You are grateful or in deep appreciation for how things transpired. And you know this was bigger than you. Because you do have people who... I've met Taurans like that. I think I discussed about one of them on the channel before, back years. I've met Tauruses like that that don't believe in... Um, the stars aligned, fated events and things like that, right? Very grounded energy. What is this um, door to romance? The gray, something must be buried in order for something to live. All right. Some of you may um, be planting something with this clover. Anytime you go back and forth with yourself about the possibilities, make them make sure that you are going back and forth with yourself with higher realms of energy. Um, try not to go from one extreme to the other. All light, all light. But what if, you know, swing with optimism more than pessimism at this time is going to be important because the old you is dead, done and over with. It's a number eight. It has been destroyed. You can't even go back to that if you tried. So you may be in a space where you try something that you've done before when it comes to what it is that you are trying to manifest or create or become. And you realize that that shit is not working because it's not meant to. Sit down. Okay. So this is beautiful, Taurus. Let's get these monology cards and I'm going to go. What do you got here for a Taurus? What do you have here for Taurus? A personal issue reaches resolution. 
full moon in cancer. Somebody may have a, a, a cancer moon or something happened on the last full moon in cancer. Go back into your journal and check it out. What information do you have here for Taurus? Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. This may have to do with a trip that you were taking with someone or a more philosophical approach. What information do you have here for Taurus? Bring love into this situation. New moon in Aquarius. This is an innovative way of you viewing romance, love, adoration, um, sharing, giving, and taking in relationships. Manifestation. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. We have a, um, a full moon on tomorrow. If you're watching this on the day that it's recorded, the energy is gaining momentum. You're becoming more powerful than you ever were in this area. So it's very important that you stay focused. Like I said, keep your frequency as high as possible. Bad building friends comes in sometimes and tries to see if they can win. It's going to be an L for them hoes. All right. See you next week.